Welcome to your doom. I want to be very very a kid. Like, actually. Hey guys, my name's Ashley. I'm here with Exron Music. We're going to be speaking with Danny, aka Sudden Death, today. Um, he's about to play in an hour. We just wanted to get a few quick questions in before he goes on stage. Everyone's been talking about last night when you levitated on stage. Where did the idea for this come from and why last night's show? Uh, it's just whatever, whatever I can do on like a very practical level or possibly theatrical level to mm -hmm. make things more interesting, but trying to shy away from it being kind of circusy. I wanted to talk a little bit more about Void. What direction do you plan to take that project in? Right now, we're working on really expanding everything with like music videos and developing more of like a character arc for the whole thing. There's a lot of music that I've written with the intent of it being very, very dark. And I don't want to give away too much yeah, about it, totally. but it's it's pretty flushed out right now. Mm -hmm. And yes, yeah, evil music, man. Music videos are definitely a, an enormous part, I think, of music in general over yeah. the past 40 years. And I've really never gone into that. It's, it's not necessarily practical to have music videos for dubstep because normally in a music video, you'd have a singer or something like that. Yeah. But, I mean, you can to totally tell a story around... It's not practical, but it works. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, tons of electronic music artists do music videos, so... And I think that dubstep songs are equally deserving of that kind of stuff and that kind of thought and creativity put into the whole thing. Obviously, not every show gets a Void set. Is Void going to become more of a rarity, or do you think it'll kind of take over more? I definitely am keeping Void as something that I do very sparsely, be mm. primarily because of the amount of work that it takes to go into the sets themselves, mm. especially for one, my whole team, and then also me as an artist, because I want to have probably, I never want to play not only the same set twice, but also the songs that you've never heard or will ever hear again, other than that one time you saw that set. Yeah. If I have the amount of time that I need in order to perform as Void, I'll probably have 20 new songs, and probably 10 of them will only be played that one time. Where did the inspiration for Void come from, or was it more like something from yourself? Was it more self-driven? Basically, the whole project originally was anonymous, and I had it as a really heavy dub plate page where I wanted to keep it a hidden identity and for me to be able to express myself in a much more evil tone. Eventually, I decided to like come out as sudden death. The separation between the two is not musically entirely too different. Um, because Sudden Death right now and a lot of the music that I write now is just purely evil. Whereas back then, a lot of my stuff, long melodic intros, all that shit, and then Void was like no melody, nothing like that, just straight like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you and Murata teased a collab together on Twitter recently. What can you tell us about that song? Me and Murata are definitely destined to work on some really crazy shit. Mm -hmm. The song that we made, we were talking about it like leading up to the show and we basically didn't get the time to do it until five minutes before he went on. And this so was last night, right? Minutes, yeah, within five minutes we made a song and it's, it's really, really, really sick. But the thing is, is that it was a song that we made in five minutes. So like, I'm not going to oversell it. The thing is, is that we are 100% going to finish a song and make it as crazy as possible. That's the goal. That's Whether exciting. it's this one, might not be the case, but the idea behind it is really, really, really sick, and I am going to play it out today. It's been almost two years since your most popular track, Behemoth, came out. What do you think has changed since then, like for your career, or for yourself? For myself, a lot. For, you know, music in general, I've definitely really been more on the void aspect of myself. Right now, I'm trying to like develop a whole new persona for Sudden Death. Basically, what I have going on right now is pretty different. Within the next year, you'll probably actually be able to see a lot of the changes because I'm going to be coming out with a new project. And that's the first time anyone's hearing that. But yeah, basically a new project. You're coming that, out with a new project? Yeah. 
but can you tell us anything about that? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, what was your reaction when Kylie Jenner got a hold of Behemoth? Oh man, it was, it was <laughs> so cool. Like, that was yeah, hilarious. Yeah. Like any any opportunity for a dubstep to really sh show its face in the mainstream mm -hmm. is uh, an opportunity for uh, all of the scene. So it's it, it's good that that stuff happens. So does touring ever get tough for you? And how like how do you think you overcome those tough times? Touring honestly is not that bad. Mm -hmm. uh, it's honestly nice because I spend most of my time just working at my studio. So I'll spend like four days out of the week and then the three on the weekends. Anything more than that definitely can be a little tough. Yeah. When you have to travel day after day after day or you're playing like shows every single day. I've done bus tour and stuff. That can be rough playing and like trying to make everything different every single day. But I mean, playing shows is really cool. Definitely the highlight of the entire thing. Every time you go and you travel, everything is leading up to the moment until you play. Did you have any plans to release new music anytime soon? Yep. Um, Everything you fucked in that for this! forward to for the future of Sudden Death. Anything you want to share with us? Got a lot of stuff I'm working on right now with one with Void and then two with an entirely new project that I'm doing. Kind of uh, evolving Sudden Death into my actual true vision for my project all along. Uh, whereas Void is going to be very, very consistently 